Okay, so this is gonna be real quick. I'm a junkyard. Just beetle. Pulled the steering wheel off. Airbag's bad. Here's the steering wheel that I removed from Passat CC. Airbag wiring is a little different because this has steering wheel controls. Um, still a two wire hookup for the airbags, which is this from the Beetle that plugs into there. So if you switch out these two wires right here with those two right there, you'll be able to have an airbag. Um, the wiring for steering wheel controls, I'm not really sure. It goes to the clock spring. Um, so yeah, that would be just a little bit of a wiring issue the same way I did my Audi. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So to continue this, I walked back into the junkyard and I'm gonna get the steering wheel. Um it's only ten bucks. So of course, um even though I have the Audi S line on the car. It's not an Audi, so it looks cool, but I think this one looks a lot better. Um, I would be able to pair these with an aftermarket uh, Bluetooth kit, and with that kit, I'll be able to control that with the radio, not the factory radio, but the 10 inch screen radio. I'm gonna show you. There's another Volkswagen right here. Jetta TDI. Show you the difference in steering wheels. Oh, scared the shit out of me. So, right here. If you do. Dude, that bird is extremely upset. There must be babies right here. Somewhere. I don't see them. But he's not very happy. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not happy with me right now. So, whatever. I'm gonna get away from his car. Wouldn't get attacked. So there's another Volkswagen. There's a Jetta, there's a GTI back here. Um, there's another one over there as well. But anyone that was asking that you can use, here's an older Passat. Um, the steering wheels are the same. Same splines. Uh, the bolt's the same, everything. It's a triple square. Uh, so they're all interchangeable. The Audi and the Volkswagen. I'm not really sure about BMW. Um, could go over there and pull one off to see, but here's the CC that I pulled the steering wheel from. It's uh, someone already got the seats, they were really nice. But see, same spline that is the clock spring. Um, maybe if I look into it a little bit further, I might be able to use the clock spring from the CC into the Volkswagen. I'm not really sure what is all involved with them. It's pretty big. So, I don't know. No. They have all the controls and whatnot into it. So that probably would not work. But, this sure was going to be pretty cool. Yeah, not much of anywhere else to... Yeah. Now, forgive me, my bag is a little over 50 pounds. And I'm walking, and this is on my phone, the S10 Plus. So it's not very stable as far as recording a video and not bouncing all over the place when you're trying to walk over this and not trip and fall. So here's another Passat. Different kind of steering wheel. 
that one will fit also. Um, so it just gives you a wide range or a wide range of variety of different type of wheels that you can use and uh, change the look from the new beetle one because I am not a fan of the new beetle Volkswagen steering wheel. It's pretty ugly. It's bulky. Um, so if you got one that did not have steering controls, steering wheel controls like that Passat over there or one of the Jettas or something like that. Um, there's a couple of Audis back here. Then you would just have a two wire hookup for the clock spring, for the airbag, and you'd be good to go. It doesn't throw a light. All of the wheels that I've changed is not throwing lights. Um, so I'm guessing that the ohms are all the same. Um, the same with my seating. When I put the uh, Volkswagen Jetta seats and also the Audi seats into the Volkswagen, it did not throw the code. So, it's just a little update. I'll probably create another one and add to this when I take my Audi wheel off. Okay, you're gonna have to ignore the neighbor's dogs. So, the Audi one, this is a T25. It's actually a T30, but it works. So behind it right here, the Audi one comes off with this. Um, I'll just use these two things. So, let me pull the Audi steering wheel off, the airbag. You can see behind it that it is the same plug. This one is plug and play. Um, if you look at this wire right here, this is for the shifter, which I was going to wire for volume and everything, but never got around to it. So, push these two little plugs in. And pull out. That's it. So then here's the airbag, and that's what it looks like. So to get this out, you need the triple screw. Let's find it. it fell down in the back okay, so 13 millimeter with an extension triple square sure if it tells you the size on these I've had these forever I think it's the biggest one that is in the oh here we go it says it's like 12 VM 12 so you're gonna put that in there where your keys out lock your steering wheel slide your 13 over top of it grab your ratchet And break it loose, just like that. Pull the nut out, it's got blue Loctite on it, but steering wheel pulls right off. Do not adjust that or your steering wheel will be off. So then you're going to grab the new steering wheel which this is extremely light like I mean it's much lighter than that so you're going to see these pins right there and right there there are holes that are in this you're gonna line those up like so Take your bolt, tighten it back up, and 
that's it. Now I have the wiring for this airbag is obviously different. Um, there's a bunch of different wires in here. I'm going to eliminate this harness because that's where the stereo controls are in. Um, and I'm going to just splice from this wire into the Beta one. This is a Volkswagen one. Um, this plug is a little bit different than that. It will go in there. Actually, here I'll show you. It pops in there, but the Volkswagen one right here has a safety clip. And the Vita one is just a little bit different, but the plugs are the same right here. So, just gonna look at which way this plugs in. And put the wires to that harness. And then I'm gonna solder everything. And then I'll turn you back on. Okay, so I got a little curious. And I opened up the harness, and here's where the resistors are. So, completely different. See, that's a little smaller one. This is much bigger and has numerous little wires for some reason. Um, I'm not really sure why, but just wanted to show that. Okay, so change the hand connectors and everything now it's pretty short for the horn I'm dealing with I left in the house but you've got two black wires there one goes there one goes right here this blue wire grounds the airbag inside there so I'm gonna connect those and then come back. Okay, so it's in here. I didn't snap it all the way in. Um, you can see the connector. See, I also didn't disconnect the battery, which is probably a bad thing because it was a little shaky when you're trying to plug it in. So you push it. Wait a minute. Locks, locks. So now it's locked in. Now to test the horn. Boop. Horn works. No airbag lights. And it matches all the other things.